it actually puts an exclamation point on the fact that we have a two-tier justice system. Uh, if you're a Republican, you can't even lie to Congress or lie to an FBI agent or they're coming after you. They're gonna bury you. They're gonna put you in the DC jail and terrorize and torture you and not live up to the constitution there. Uh, however, this comes on the heels of Sussman being acquitted because the jury that had a bunch of Hillary Clinton lovers in it, donors even, uh, they said, look, uh, you know, He's a Democrat, and of course they're gonna lie. Everybody lies. <laughs> that was amazing. And, and, and I know we're gonna focus on the first part, but he's saying at the end that the, the guy he's talking about should have been arrested for lying, but he, but he doesn't think that Navarro should have been? Like, shouldn't you have one standard? I know I sound What stupid. have we come to? Yeah. What have we come to? No, that was, of course, was hilarious, yeah. right? I mean, it's leave it to Gomer to be like, now we can't even lie to we the FBI lie. anymore. I mean, that's it's what we've been amazing. doing our whole lives. Right. We can't idiot. lie to Congress, then what the hell are we gonna do? Right. Okay, why not come to Congress for anyway? Okay, if I can't lie to you, well, shoot, I might as well go home. Okay, I mean, look, that's why Louis Gomer's roundly thought of as the dumbest man in Congress. Although Paul Gosar and a couple of, and now that's Mar true. Marjorie Taylor Green and et cetera, giving him a run for his money. <laughs> but, uh, but, but Gomer, is the guy who said that Barack Obama was reconstituting the Ottoman Empire. <laughs> now, I know, to the best of my knowledge, no reporter's ever asked him. It appears to be entirely unreconstituted. Uh, mm -hmm. So, did you maybe get that one a little? Were you a little bit off on that one, no. right? But no, he just goes around and. But again, in Republican circles, they're like, "Yeah, that makes sense." God mm -hmm. damn it, we can't lie to Congress, the FBI. What is the world coming to? And guys, now in seriousness. It's because it's part of a mentality of we run this country, we can do whatever we want. And now so. there's a new rules where we have to share power right. equally in a democracy. They don't like that at all. Nope. And that same thing for Navarro, he's like, I thought we were above the law. What the hell's going on here? Are we gonna have to actually yeah. abide by the law like non-Christian white men? Mm -hmm. This is gross. And he's like genuinely outraged. And that's how people were after Clinton won and beat Bush. They couldn't believe these people are not entitled to run. But they, you know, we're gonna have to investigate every single thing he's ever done because they're not like us and they're not gonna be part of what we're doing. Forgetting, you know, the extracurriculars of Clinton, the the point was that we this is our game. Nobody else can play this game. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what you're seeing from Gomer, it's exactly what you saw from, from Navarro there. And that's what I've been talking about throughout the show as a thread is is this idea that nothing matters, right? And these people don't think anything matters unless the other side does it, and it only matters because of what it does to them. During a House Natural Resources hearing, <laughs> Texas Republican Louis Gohmert had his insanity on full display. Now he's never really been a bright member of Congress, and I'm being honestly generous and framing it that way. He's far worse than what I'm describing, and you're about to see why in this clip regarding climate change. And I understand from what's been testified to the Forest Service and the BLM, you want very much to work on the issue of climate change. I was informed by the media past director of NASA that they have found that the moon's orbit is changing slightly, and so is the Earth's orbit around the sun. Uh, we know there's been a significant solar flare activity. Um, and so is there anything that the National Forest Service or BLM can do to uh, change the course of the moon's orbit or the Earth's orbit around the sun? Obviously, that would have profound effects on our climate. I would have to follow up with you on that one, Mr. Gomert. Yeah. <laughs> I, she was so speechless because she did not expect him to have that level of scientific expertise. <laughs> she was just so, oh, I, I thought this was gonna be softballs. Look at his oh my face. God, this is a tough, difficult, but face. fair question. <laughs> He's so proud of himself. I like how curbing <laughs> carbon emissions is like a Herculean task, but 
let's have a discussion about what we can do about the moon's orbit. Mm -hmm. Like that's a little more doable, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> yeah, setting up like more solar power tough. Getting a really long pole and just nudging that moon away. <laughs> that's a little bit easier. <laughs>